Okay, so we're told that in the diagram below, lines A and B are parallel, so these two lines. And we want to reflect triangle EFG, that's this triangle right here, in line A, and label the image as E prime, F prime, G prime. So, I mean, when we're reflecting on a line, we get a mirror image of a shape. So the distance between F and its reflection should have this line of symmetry as the midpoint. So let's say F is here, so F prime should be about there. And also the line that guides you from one point to the other crosses your line of symmetry at a 90 degree angle. So you could test this by drawing a line from here to here to see if you've got it in the right position. Look to see the distance from F to the line of symmetry is the same as the distance from A to F prime. And also that the line that connects these two is perpendicular to our line of symmetry. And the same should happen for E. E should be about here. Right, or E prime, excuse me. Right, so here's E prime. And then G should be about here. And you can see it's basically, excuse me, G prime should be about here. What we've done is created a, a mirror image of our shape, right? And then what they want us to do is do the same thing and reflect it again over line B. And this is where you want to predict what's going to happen. If we reflect our reflection, Right, and we get e, e double prime, F double prime, G double prime, what should it do? Well, if we reflect this again, let's take a look. E prime will reflect back here, right, to E double prime. That's just, the double prime just keeps track of the number of times we transformed this shape. F prime, will, again, will go about here, right, so we're reflecting our reflection, and G prime will go about here. Let's say about here or G double prime we're calling it, I'm sorry, G double prime. So if I connect my lines here, we can see what they're getting at in this problem. Essentially what happened was by reflecting this line, this shape twice, over two parallel lines, we went back to our original shape. And the question they ask is, can you have done this with a single transformation? Sure, instead of reflecting twice, I could have just taken this shape and translated it to the right. I could have slid it over to this spot over here. And they want us to make a conjecture. Well, the conjecture is then, if you reflect a shape twice over two parallel lines, right, that's the same thing as a translation. So there is a way to use reflections to create translations, and this kind of demonstrates that process. All right, I hope you enjoyed.